<clears throat> yep, I'm a rough. Okay. Hey! Nice. <laughs> Better turn that down, actually, I can hear us. <laughs> yep. There we go. <clears throat> Just uh, wait for a few more people to jump on board as well. Yeah, no problem. Hey, I like the uh, voice to song ratio. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. I uh, just muted it. So you're looking forward to this, dude? Yeah, man. <laughs> Although, again, this is your territory, not mine. But yeah, hey, man, um... as I've said time and time again, right? This is basically the same sort of tactics you use on CNC. Right. Okay. You know, like how fast you get all those massive prism tanks out, yeah, in CNC. Yeah. It's basically the same principle. You just got to get those heavy bits out quick. Yeah, that's right. Now, I'll right. give you a little tip as well, right? When Whichever vehicle you decide to make, whether it's the air ones or the, the ground ones, yeah? Yeah. Get two of those buildings up. Right, so yeah, So you yeah, can yeah. pump them out faster, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I think maybe we might do a little bit of wow as well after this. But we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, speaking of the microphones, as you were saying earlier, well, a second ago. Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's like, I, I'd like one of those desk ones as well. <laughs> they, they sound so much better as well as you know that it's just more professional really yeah and um, um, mine is a like a really crappy headset mic so yeah that's how same here <laughs> um but yeah man like like i say we'll uh we'll invest in some of those a little bit later on down the road yes Got about 60 seconds before we begin. <clears throat> Okey Have you set up your leader and all that, Russell? Yep, I'm always uh, Captain Cutter. So. Nice. And it's time. What is good everybody? I hope you're all doing okay today. As you can see, today we're doing Halo Wars. As always guys, I'm Roly the Holy Paladin and I'm joined by our wonderful co-host, Russell. How are you mate? I'm doing pretty good, thank you. <laughs> That's good stuff. Are you, uh, are you ready to get going? Uh, I am indeed. Alright dude, let's go. Three, two, one, starting. <clears throat> According to uh, Google, we might have to use a strawpoll.com and just send a link that way, but I will make a poll later. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Oh, the mass is a bit... Um sensitive on this <laughs> have you got it windowed or full screen uh, it's full screen mate oh then you should be okay it's worse windowed because it doesn't register the corners when you just when you go to the actual corner of your screen because of your uh, taskbar at the bottom <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. So you have to be very precise if you want to scroll with your mouse No uh, screen spying you. 
<laughs> Although you're not sharing screen, so oh, well, right. yeah, you can watch the live stream, dude. <laughs> yeah, right. Of course. Um, you know what? No, 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 no. It's fine. I, I don't mind. I'm still going to beat you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Right. I was trying to figure out a way that I could do it without watching the uh, stream itself. Good point, actually. I don't think you can actually hide the actual video. Uh, I can make oh, it you can do screen it, you can... and scroll down. I was going to say, you can do a pop-out for the chat. Yes, there's that as well, to be fair. But it's fine, mate, honestly. Don't worry about it. Fair enough. Aha, pop out chat. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty um it's pretty handy. Yep. Has the uh, you said the voice to music ratio was okay, right? Yeah, at least when we started the stream, so yeah, it's fine. Then. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Here's me pressing wrong buttons already. Not a good start, but hey, maybe we can uh, rectify it. Yeah, I was actually forgetting a few of the buttons a second ago as well, to be fair. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm just thinking maybe after the live stream then I think you can add a poll directly through YouTube um, for it to be as a video so uh, we can add that at the end can you uh, as far as I'm aware yeah oh nice okay that's uh, pretty handy indeed indeed
I could actually take you out now if I wanted to, I think. Maybe. <laughs> I think so. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, you got nothing, mate. <laughs> you got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I tried taking that base with three warthogs, but unfortunately, yeah, just the, the power, you know, <laughs> wasn't enough to take down the actual base, and therefore, you know, lagging behind. Decisions, decisions. Yep. Unfortunately, I'm not making the right ones right now. Good news is, though, I got my reactor up. You're like, oh, got to got to uh, put a stop to that. <laughs> Your reactor. Yeah. But... Oh, the power thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm stealing your resources out your base, mate. Uh, there was some to the north. I didn't realise there were even some there. So, <laughs> fair enough. Find his keepers. You can have them, I guess. <laughs> <sighs> It's a very, uh, <laughs> you know, thought-provoking game. So mm -hmm. we're just sat here, you know, being really uh, engrossed. Oh, right. Well. Well, I know I am. Hence the lack of talking and commentary, but... <laughs> I can commentate and talk. Remember, Fair enough. it takes two to tango. <laughs> what... I was going to say, what does that even mean in this context? Well, when there's no conversation, obviously, you know, it's down to one of you to start a conversation. <laughs> Social fair situations enough, yeah. and all. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I thought you were uh, saying, like, the two skills that you need to uh, no, no, no. commentate and play in the game. I was like, takes two to tango. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, all right, really. But fair enough. I think I might win this with just Marines, you know. You never know. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> yeah, you've already snowballed better than I have. Hey, what's up, the Danish? How are you, mate? Hey, up, stranger. How are you, dude? He's like, what the hell's this stream? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully, you're not working too hard. <laughs> yes. This is Halo Wars indeed, my friend. Do you have it on Steam? I'm on it. Good to go, sir. Move it. RPG research. 
<laughs> no, and that's with a smiley face. What are you trying to say there, dude? <laughs> Probably for the best there, yeah? Uh... I was going to say, man, if you were, if you did have it, you could have joined us in a cheeky game if you wanted. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't notice that. I guess I let that one slip by. On built. Yeah, sure. More like you kept it there to see if I was actually ready to attack it. <laughs> Maybe. Although... Maybe not. <laughs> well, I mean, they're both RTSs, so there is that. And I did say um, to Roly the first time I played this, there are some similarities. But with this one, you get finite building space, so... Yeah, obviously with Red Alert, you can like move things anywhere, can't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And build an infinite army <laughs> of conscripts or whatever unit you please. It's crazy having those huge armies on Red Alert too, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, uh, later, I think I'm going to put a poll, if this is all right with you, Roly, uh, to ask what people would prefer on the streams, you know, whether they want some more RTSs, Stuff like Command and Conquer, Age of Empires, Halo Wars, like this, or whether they want more World of Warcraft. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it will be added to the video later, or at least I think it will, <laughs> all going to plan. Uh, and if it does, you guys can vote for what you'd like to see next, or more of, essentially. <laughs> definitely. Oh, nice. Definitely. <laughs> I reckon it'll be a good idea to do that actually. So have you figured out how to do that now, Russell? Um, I know how to create a straw poll and link that, <laughs> um, but I can figure it out. I know there is a way to uh, put it in the card. You know where the uh, exclamation mark is and you've got the info for your other videos. You can put up a poll in there somehow and I'll figure it out later. It shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, yeah, cool. I know you can do that, it's just a matter of how and what the criteria to do that is. Oh, but nice. yeah, the Danish says he just opened a WoW mailbox, 100 gold ish. Yeah, dude, Brad I've just seen. Flipping out, mate. What's that from selling? Just random junk? It's always a good day when you collect 100G from the mailbox, eh, hey, Russell? <laughs> yeah. Nice, dude. Nice. So, any plans for later on today, the Danish? More farming, maybe? Hey, Russell, the good thing about this is I can basically play it one-handed if I wanted to. Now you're just showing off. Well... Just a way to drink my tea as I'm playing. <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> so remind me, are the solid stones the uh, the highest ones that you can get? As in, they're from like thorium and stuff, right? Ah, Mithril, nice. 
So where's actually the best place to farm mithril? Is that in um Oh what's it called? Um Where is it, Russell? The hinterlands. Uh yes. At least back in the day. Oi, get your <laughs> Mate, they are my tanks. Not if I oh I was gonna say not if I can help it, but no, I can't help it. <laughs> That turret is doing fuck all. What the hell, man? Like, turret, you're supposed to... Cheers for the tanks, bro. <sighs> <laughs> oh, dear. Frig's sake. GG's. <laughs> See, the, the frustration that you just felt there, right? That's how I feel playing Command and Conquer Red Alert 2. Sorry, the first Red Alert. Wait, is it Red Alert 2 or the first one? Uh, the one with the engineer. Well, yeah, both of them. But Red Alert 2 is the one that I play. Yeah. <laughs> God, <laughs> that's so yeah. freaking annoying. <laughs> yeah, the first Red Alert is all... <laughs> yeah, they're both great. The data, she's got it right. I really have to find a way to counter those freaking Spartans. Well, just anti-infantry. Well, those turrets were supposed to be anti-infantry. Like, what the hell? You need more, though. Remember, like, you have to overpower your uh, enemy as well. Yeah. Nice. Bloody hell, I bet that was a while ago. <laughs> Uh, are you going to be buying the remaster at the Danish? Is that what we've got, Russell? No, no, they're going to do a remaster of the original Command and Conquers, like a full remaster. So you know how it's all tabbed and everything in Red Alert 2 and scrolling through and, you know, they're going to make the controls more like Red Alert 2 while sticking to the original Command and Conquer, you know, units and... You know, with a bit of an updated, remastered graphics and stuff. I'll have to send you the video of all the features they're doing. They're just ah, making it more okay. up to date, but it's going to be the original Command and Conquer. <laughs> nice. I I can't justify the price tag, especially since we've already got it from, uh, you know, like the Ultimate Collection or the first decade or whatever copies you have. Is it from the same company? Uh, yeah. So it's EA. And they've hired some of the guys from uh, Westwood, I believe. Right. Yeah, you'd, you'd have thought like they'd have done some kind of deal if you already own it. Yeah, but then this, again, this is EA, 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 EA we're talking about here. So, you know. Yeah, it's a bit crappy then, I guess, in that sense. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, and then EA ran it into the ground eventually. I mean, they kind of did all right with uh, generals. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Just as I was about to build up the army as well, you've, you've won. There's no way I'm going to be able to get these out in time. I've not actually played Red Alert 3 ever. It's in my collection because I bought the uh, Ultimate Collection, but I've never installed it, so... <laughs> I wouldn't know, but from what I looked at it, it does seem a bit over the top and a bit overdone, like they were overcompensating for something. That's a more recent and, one, isn't it, Russell? Yeah, and then in turn tried to make, they made it even worse. Because <laughs> apparently you've got this Japanese faction that just morphs into anything. But that I mean, sounds I'm pretty not... cool, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the graphics don't look too bad, though. Depend on your your art style, I guess, and the preference. But yeah, I uh, I'm not too sure with the units. <laughs> I mean, Red Alert Two looked better. Fair enough. 
Yeah, you know what? I think that's a problem with most like newer RTSs. Like they they don't seem as good as the older ones like they were back in the day. Like for example, I I don't know if you guys can relate, but I can say it for certain for Halo Wars 2. In my opinion at least, it's not as good as this one, the first one. And you know, even you, Russell, you say like the more older Command and Conquer games are better than the newer stuff. Yeah, although they haven't released any real new stuff for a while now, but the thing they ended on was the nail in the coffin, so yeah. <laughs> um, I've heard of it, I've never actually played it. Isn't that a trading card game? Or am I just thinking Magic the Gathering type? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard the name and I can't think where from hey 4D how are you mate <laughs> what's going on 4D how are you dude Roly's just about to uh, own my ass it looks like unfortunately yeah you're done, <laughs> you're done mate sorry <laughs> <sighs> you know what while we're here, celebratory Mac Blast. Well, com uh, what's the word? A thingy prize. <laughs> A consolation Mac Blast. There we go. <laughs> I don't think it's done anything, sorry. <laughs> yeah, 4D, we're not so bad. Well, I know I am. I don't know about Russell, but <laughs> it's always fun in games when you're owning somebody's ass in. An RTS. <laughs> hey, indeed, indeed. Glad you like it, 4D. Yeah, that's uh, the thing, actually. I mean, I, me and Russell did like a quick little browse through uh, last week when we scheduled it to see, like, you know, sort of like what's been posted for it and stuff. And there isn't really a lot of live streams, so I think, you know, it's a nice little opportunity to get in there show off the game in all its glory, you know? Oh wow, there. nice! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> oh, nice, dude. Do you uh, live stream as well? <clears throat> you know what? I might be Professor Anders, and not just because you're Professor Anders either. I just genuinely think that that cryo thing. Okay. It's put genuinely. It to test. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll go to Sergeant Forge. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude, that's no worries. I mean, as me and Russell were saying to uh, the Danish not so long ago, actually. Um, if you do have the game on Steam, you're more than welcome to jump on and have a game with us if you like. Have like a free v3 or something. Well, it's more like a 3v2 because I'm more of a handicap than a team well. player. But, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude. not less. Welcome to join us. Actually, that's the point, Russell. Can you... Um... <laughs> What's, what's the word? Uh, Multi-platform this. I have no idea. It depends on the game settings itself and, you know, what the publishers allow for. I'll have to double check it, though. That's down to the publishers and the game makers, not me. So, at least not without some really awkward trickery. So, um, yeah, it wouldn't be down to me, but I'll double check that later. In fact, I could double check that now if you want. Considering we're not in a game. Yeah, if you like. Um, what difficulty do you want the AI on? Should we have uh, them on heroic? <laughs> uh, sure. Do you want them at random or do you want to select? Do you want to cherry pick the best ones? Uh, one second. Tell you what, I'll give yeah. you a good one straight away, straight off the bat. I'll give you yeah. the uh, profit. Is Halo Wars cross-platform? I'm pretty sure it is um, for Halo Wars 2. Yeah, it definitely is for uh, 
Halo Wars 2 is Halo Wars Definitive Edition on Steam cross-platform? Potentially not. Uh, they said uh, no. The only thing that was was uh, Rocket League. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. There's not a lot of uh, cross-platform between Steam and uh, the Xbox. So I'm sorry to hear that, 4D. But, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, Danish, sorry, I missed your message, mate. So have we ever played um, Hero of Might and Magic? Uh, to be fair, mate, I've never actually heard of that game. <laughs> hey, there we go. He says, Roly, destroy him. He doesn't know it. And now you don't know it either. <laughs> He's going to hate the boat now. He's going to be wondering why the hell is on this stream. <laughs> <clears throat> I've definitely heard the name. I've at least heard of it. You've got to give me that, the Danish. But yes, um, I, I, I'll have to jog my memory, look up some YouTube videos. Are you ready, by the way, Russell? Uh, I am indeed. Yeah, right. Come on. Forty Let's says I'm get actually this going to be started. As I'm actually going to be making a video on the new Halo Wars 2 this week, as I've never played that before, so going to get some natural reactions to it. Nice, nice. We're starting, by the way. Get ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I can see. <laughs> Have you got a different game mode on? Oh, no, what no, do I, I, it's fine. I just wasn't used to the uh, upgrading, or I couldn't remember it exactly, but it's all good. It's still standard, but obviously we're on a 3v3 now. Yeah. And they're all heroic, so keep that in mind. Yep. So yeah, for those of you that are just joining, uh, I will be creating a poll for this on the video after, um, asking you guys what you'd like to see us stream next, potentially. Definitely. So uh, if you have any ideas, you can vote on it then, or you can put them down in the comments below. <laughs> and uh, me and Roly will read through them and see what you guys are saying. Definitely, definitely. I am looking forward to doing uh, Age of Empires though, because it's been so long since I played that game. Yeah, I've not installed it for years either. So I think that's territory for both of us, you know, where it's both kind of neutral. Yeah, the Danish Age of Empires 2. Best one, of course, dude. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. Looks like I can get this on my Game Pass for the PC. Yes, that's if you do have Game Pass. What's Game Pass? Oh, you mean for Microsoft? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, no, nice, Danish, yeah. Download it, guys, and, uh, you know, we can have a game together if you want. Uh, the Danish has got Age of Empires installed, so we'll have to give him a game on Age of Empires. <laughs> Definitely. I and mean, yes, uh, we, we don't it. have Age of Empires yet, but we can get it for like next week or something. I mean, I have it, but I just haven't got it installed. Do ah, you right. not have it installed? I'll have to. No, no. I'll have to ship in and help you get that. Yeah, man. It's relatively cheap nowadays, anyway. Uh, is, it, is it the remastered version or is it the original, like original, original? <laughs> That's a good point, actually. With the remastered and the original, can you still play against each other if you've got the different versions? I don't know, but I'd imagine so. Microsoft's usually pretty good with that sort of sort of thing. 
Right. As I say, I don't know for a fact though, so I'll check that out as well. <coughs> so guys, are you all ready for the MC raid later on tonight? As you guys know, it's going to be the first ever Project Paladin MC raid that we're going to be doing. Not gonna lie, I've never actually uh, led a raid before either, so... <laughs> ah, you'll be fine, mate. Honestly, we all support you, the, the guild loves you, so... Yeah, I'm just, you know, putting it out there because uh, it, it could get quite interesting. <laughs> I mean, Illuminate's always bloody brilliant. He's been a legend having her back, so... I'm sure Illuminate can support you. I mean, I won't be there physically because my character's still not freaking leveled up, but... Yeah, you but know, it's, in, well. it's important that you do that, actually. So, obviously, you know, you can join in on those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I've been, re like, thinking as well, right? So, you know when you say as long as you're, like, level 60 for AQ, do you mean the raid or the, the pre-event? Uh, the raid. Right. Anybody can get involved in the pre-event. Um, obviously, the uh, what's it? The jackals or whatever they are. You know the things that you fight out in the open field are a bit high level. So you know the higher level you are, the more you'd be able to help take them out. But at the end of the day, it's just a massive free for all, which everybody can get in. So yeah, as the Danish says, there's going to be so much freaking lag though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Out in the field trying to get shit done. Now, you know, back in the day in vanilla. Mm, yeah, <laughs> ish. As I say, I never really played vanilla too much. I think I actually joined just before that event, funnily enough. Yeah, the Danish, it's going to be a huge lag fest. It's going to basically be like um, on launch day, but probably worse since there's more players in the same spot. Um, but yeah, Russell, I was going to say, like, did you take part in that? I did. Although I was one of the scrubs, again, that couldn't uh, fight them properly. So I just sat there gathering all of my resources. Was great for leveling up my professions. It was all subconscious because I was doing it while helping out, of course. But yeah. Because you got loot from them, didn't you? Um, you got these marks, like badges, to say how much you'd done. I can't remember what sort of loot you'd get, but yeah, you'd hand in these marks and it would um, go towards opening the gates. God damn, I'm getting nuked. <laughs> Who's the red team? <laughs> I don't know, because me and you have different colours. It's strange. I should send in those Spartans. Handled, baby, baby. All right, time to get this base now. But yeah, all I remember doing for the uh, AQ thing yeah. was gathering a bunch of resources with my professions and then handing them in to some dwarf in Ironforge. <laughs> Is that uh, the Alliance Brigade thing or whatever it's called? I believe so. It would make sense, actually. Do they give you rep? Not too sure. 
I'd like to think so, but I'm not. I'm not certain, to be honest. Right. Base under attack again. God damn it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's always me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was getting bombarded by Yuri's on red alert. Oh, well. mate, every second. <laughs> I'll, I'll take those tanks, thank you, sort of thing. I'm not, obviously not on this, you've got your own tanks, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, I did Black Queen Leia. Um, when was it? Yesterday? Uh, right. Didn't get any Maybe. loot. <laughs> no idea. Yeah, shoulders again. Didn't drop, unfortunately. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, the Danish. Was you around during Vanilla when um, the AQ gates were opening back in the day? I think I was level 40 when it happened. <laughs> yeah, I was level 40 for a long time on, on that mage that I had. Yeah. Before I made the final stretch to 60. So <laughs> you started mage. like a few weeks or months before me, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Because I remember, I remember like we was in school and uh, I can't remember how we got talking about it, but uh, I think you either asked me or something like what I was playing or something. I said no, I was playing WoW. I remember it. I'll be honest. People were taking the piss out of me because I was talking World of Warcraft. You know, I was looking. Oh up yes, it was you that was speaking about it like openly to everybody. Yeah. And I said to you that I played it. Yeah, when everybody <laughs> started taking the piss, I was like, oh yeah. But it, it's funny like, oh, yeah. because you know, like the the quote unquote popular kids were playing like RuneScape and stuff, and that's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah, so like we started talking about it, and uh, what level was it? Because this, because I had that warrior, that night elf warrior, um, and I think I was like level thirty or something. Maybe I can't remember exact levels, mate, but <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Well, yeah, I wasn't even the max level. Um, you know, like like I say, I started like literally just before TBC started. So, yes. Uh, to me, yeah. the max level was seventy. <clears throat> yeah. Getting to level sixty was so freaking hard then. That's, that wasn't even a goal in my mind. I just played it for the sake of playing it back then. Well, yeah, it was. A, you know, if you don't think about the end game stuff, it, it's a fun game to play. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> That's why I always say to people, you know, it's a game at the end of the day. Just have fun with it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, man. Honestly, like. Not that there's anything wrong with, you know, getting obsessive over it and, you know, being like, oh, I've got to do this and I've got to get that just so I can do this for the raid on such and such day. But, you know, to me, that's not really my my uh, cup of tea, so to speak. And I think it's the same with you, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although, I wouldn't know about that. You were pretty intense when the Burning Crusade first came out. You were all about that, like, get to Black Temple. <laughs> you well, know. <laughs> uh, you know, back in those days, the most I yeah. raided was... I did Gruul's Lair, Karazhan, uh, what's the other one? ZA, and that was it. I never was actually in a raiding guild or anything, so I never did SSC... Or uh, is it Tempest Keep? What's the one with the uh, Kalfas in it for T5? Is it the I? Oh, so, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Th those ones as well as uh high gel and black temple never actually did them in so that's know... the uh, follow-up to the uh like the botanist uh dungeon isn't it with all the flowers and i vaguely in, in, in that so. like nether area yeah basically floating in the sky yeah yeah <clears throat> Yeah, man, I never actually did any of those raids at level 70. Fair enough. I would like to, not gonna lie. I just remember you being really serious. And to be fair, you played out pretty well. You were really serious about getting me... This was uh, Wrath of the Lich King, to be honest. It was an Ulduar raid that was going on in the spots. It was like, right, Russell, you need to get your gear to do this. There's an Ulduar spot, bloody... Get on it, get in it, let's go, <laughs> sort of thing. Hey, hang yeah. on, I don't remember this. Do you not? No. I was a healer, because obviously my shaman, I was a healer for an Ulduar group, but we'd always wipe on the first boss, which is that uh, uh, Leviathan. Yeah, the big machine thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, which is the first boss. It was either that or the second boss, but yeah. You know what? I actually thought that was kind of challenging, that raid, back in the day. Yeah. Never actually cleared it. Neither had I, to be honest. To be honest, it could be something uh, I go back and do now, just for, uh, you know, a bit of fun. Well, yeah, obviously, like, I've cleared it now, since, you know, we're over-leveled and stuff. But, like, when it was current content, never actually did it, which is funny, because, like, I actually I'm not cleared... Even now <laughs> yeah yeah i actually yeah. cleared all the way to the lich king in ice crown citadel which is obviously supposed to be like a harder raid and stuff so yes i have done uh ice crown so there is that pretty weird me and, huh? me and uh my brother just two man it walked up to him and just conked him on the head <laughs> <clears throat> did you get lucky with the um the thingy the mount I don't think we did, unfortunately. That's unfortunate. Are you no, ready? Because we... I'm going to dominate you in a second. You probably are, because I'm no... Yeah, I've just been casually <laughs> building up uh, buildings. But yeah. Uh, do your worst, I guess. Okay. What the hell was that? What's that? I don't know, I think I just saw like a rocket flying in the sky. Maybe I'm seeing things, but... You've been smoking something. <laughs> hey, I don't smoke. Okay, but... You've been drinking something. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> You mean on the ultimate collection? Yeah, EA has it pretty overpriced and it's been that way for ages. But if you're lucky, not that I'd condone this, but you know, you, there, there could be cheaper prices on eBay or similar sites, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and usually I think, hey, you know, you have to support the developers, you know, be good, but this is EA, they enjoy ripping you off, so if you're going to take a chance to uh, get it cheaper on that, I wouldn't object, so you might be able to find it cheaper on eBay or sites that sell cheaper keys.
Always do that anyway. Nah, if, you, if you can get a deal, get a deal, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah, but there's a stipulation that uh, is that the right word? But yeah, there's this idea around it that when you buy from those sites, the money doesn't go to the developer, so you're essentially stealing, and you're just giving the robbers the money instead. So, you know, it depends whether you're really into the company and the developer as a whole, but usually the developers that you would support treat you pretty well anyway. Yeah, and it's a 20-year-old game. So you could probably pick it up for pennies on eBay or similar sites, as I said. True, very true. But yeah, where I can, and especially with indie developers, I buy it directly from them. Most of the time. Actually, I think the first game I uh, pirated, which I, I don't know if you know, you'd know, you openly admit that on stream, it was a while ago though, I've definitely got a legit copy now, but the first game I ever pirated was Portal 2, because I was still coming out of school, fresh in college, didn't really have any money, and it was all the craze back then, so I wanted to try it out, but now that I've got my own sort of money, I was like, yeah. I've got a legit copy now, so I bought it, bought Steam, bought Valve, love Portal. Portal 2, is that the game where you like teleport to different places? <laughs> well, the clue would kind of be in the name, um, have you ever played Half-Life? No, but I know what it is, so is it similar I imagine? It's set in that kind of universe, uh... But yeah, it's more of a puzzle game. You know how you have the gravity gun in Half-Life? Yeah. That can pull things towards you. You get a portal gun, hence the name, in Portal. And you don't teleport to different places, but you can create a portal linking yourself to two areas of the map. And you'd use it as a, uh, as I say, to solve the puzzle, really. So you'd put... Uh, portal A on a wall, Portal B on another wall, and you'd travel between those two walls to get past an obstacle that is in your way. It's that kind of gameplay. While okay. also having, all, although the characters themselves are quite well developed, the antagonist you've probably heard, Gladys. It's meme, you know, and the whole of the cake is a lie <laughs> meme. I believe so. Yep. Um, also, do you know who Stephen Merchant is? The guy that's uh, partnered with Ricky Gervais in the UK office. Say his name again, sorry. You mean the blonde guy with glasses? Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. him. The, uh, the old former, like, you know, walker <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. all that, yeah. He's uh, there, he plays one of your, uh, well, he plays one of the characters, and his jokes are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> he voices okay. one of the characters, so yeah. It's essentially a puzzle game, and the concept is pretty linear. But believe me, Valve being Valve, they've they've done it so perfectly. It's executed so well. Brilliant game. Nice, nice. To be honest, with Steam Play, I could let you borrow one of my saves if you wanted to test it out, and then maybe you could grab your own copy. Potentially, we'll see. But I freaking love Portal and Portal 2. Are you okay, by the way? Yeah, I'm perfect. Why? You lost one of your allies, that's all. <laughs> I'm doing alright. Maybe not for too long, though. No, you're going to die soon. <sighs> Those Spartans are OP. Oh, uh, again, you taught me that uh, a few games ago. You to yeah, put man. your uh, own Spartans in the tanks instead of letting them get robbed. Uh, well, I'd rather rob someone else's tank. <laughs> true, true. Fair enough. Uh, I do, as I say, I know the name. 
Is it is it an is it an RPG? Like just a normal RPG, similar to Guild Wars, maybe. I've definitely heard the name, but <laughs> it's scouring around the internet, and I can't think of the lot for the life of me where from. How new I'm, is it? I'm. It's quite old, actually, mate. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, do myself a favor while I'm about to be nuked. I'm gonna quickly Google it, save myself digging a further hole. Okay. Oh, it looks to be another RTS. Wow, I didn't know it was that old. There's some, there's some OG ones back in the day, and then uh, they've done some updated ones. Ah. Yeah, I've never actually played this. Looks it it looks like a cross between Warcraft 3 and Age of Empires. It seems heavily influenced from Warcraft 3 or Warcraft 3 seems to be heavily influenced from this. <laughs> hey, that's the point. We should probably get uh, Warcraft as well. Although then again, obviously everyone's saying it's garbage. Uh, the, the remaster. Re yeah, the remaster it's because they cocked it up they they made it worse than the original somehow <laughs> i don't know how they managed to do that but they did do you think they'll fix it uh they will eventually they'd have to if they want to appease their customers or at least revert back to letting people have the original version or again, not that I condone it, but in struggling times, we might have to find uh, alternative methods. <laughs> Potentially. Of getting uh, Warcraft 3. Because I did enjoy that, the story. Again, you'll see a lot of the story that they used in uh, World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warcraft 3. Especially Arthas's, uh, Arthas's storyline. I couldn't say Arthas then. But yeah. Oh man, oh, I, I didn't even get to use my bloody tanks. Like, you, you're down already. <laughs> I've got all these bloody scorpions here. Sorry, grizzlies. Man. It's like, you really suck. I know. <laughs> but hey, it's a good uh, chill stream, you know. We're chilling with the Danish. Definitely. And uh, 40, if he's still there, mate. Although, you know how idle I've been playing because I have 17,000 resources. Oh dear, dude. Come on, build an army. <laughs> yeah, with whatever's left. <sighs> if I had a cryo bomb, I'd be able to. Um... You know, freeze my own troops. I mean, I can destroy them with my uh, abilities. Ah, uh, it's all right. Okay, man, you was Professor Anders, right? Oh yeah, and not once did I use the cryo bomb until just. Well, so. you, you didn't have any air pads out either. You was building tanks instead. Uh. I didn't know that that was a thing. As I said, I'm new to this, essentially. Yeah, like I said, so, if you're going for it. Anders, make air units. If you're going for Forge, make tanks. Right. Domination. <laughs> Actually, then again, there's some bases over here that we didn't bother looking at, so maybe you still... Oh, nah. There we go. Way. Really, how how many uh, Spartans? Although I'm assuming that's your uh, allies as well. Yeah, that was them. Right. Um. Can't really think of. Uh, tell you what, I know. We'll do a different map. 
Are you out of the uh, preview thing? Uh, nope, but I am now. There we go. Okay. We'll do a different map. We'll go for... What's keep away? Oh, it's capture the flag. No, we won't do that. Oh, alright. Now we could get really tactical with uh, reinforcements. That could be pretty good. Or do you want to just go for a death match where we've got everything? Uh, death match. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All so right. We'll have one ally each as well, yeah. Uh, sure. And I'll give you the advantage. There you go. Right. I'll have to double check which game came out first, uh, Heroes of Might and Magic or Warcraft 3, because they do look very similar to each other. Yeah. Right, bro, you ready? Uh, yep. Alright, let's do this. Time to get pwned, baby. And the Danish says too many people are farming is, uh, Elementals. 1999, dude, that's an old game. 21 years old. Wait, is that for that Heroes game? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Heroes is 1999. Man, in 1999, actually, it wasn't even then. I played it when it came out after but it was released in 1999 uh that shenmue game i know completely different genre but <laughs> whenever i've got the chance to mention it i will mention it i did like shenmue a lot back in the day hmm. and for me that was the revolution of uh 3d games <laughs> 100 you could argue that it was gta maybe but Oh, you mean like the first GTA? Um, well, which one was the first one that made it 3D? Uh, the I one know on the... PlayStation, I think, right? Is that right? The one on the first PlayStation? I don't know. I've never actually really played the GTA franchise. <laughs> Neither have I, to be fair. <laughs> the GTA from PS1. Hey. To be honest, there were some really good games on the PS1. First ones that I played were Medal of Honor. Uh, there was another futuristic, like American football type thing as well. A futuristic uh, one. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Yeah. Hey, those those uh, Tony Hawk's ones, dude. Hey. Some good games. <clears throat> now, I know obviously it's not PlayStation, but uh, wait, was uh, GoldenEye on PlayStation? I don't think so. Oh yeah, Spyro again. Oh, never yeah, dude. That, but I know that. <laughs> and that Crash was... Bandicoot. Don't forget that. <laughs> yes. Spyro and Crash, both amazing games, dude. <laughs> In fact, they've remastered both of them games, haven't they, actually? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, man. For the Xbox One as well, right? Um, uh, yeah. I yeah, yeah, because I was yeah. going to get it, actually. I'm thinking of getting the Series X when it comes out. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, so that me and my brother can do a bit more uh, Xbox gameplay because he doesn't really use his computer. And he uses Xbox for gaming, but it's weird. I use my PC mostly. And I do have an Xbox, but it's an old one. Well, it's an Xbox One, uh, but it's an S. So, yeah. S for slime, sugar, so yeah, it's a really 
it's not great for all the up-to-date games so i'm just thinking so they get an xbox one x and then all the ones that are backwards compatible compatibility or backwards compatible there we go uh you know i'll just do that maybe an unpopular opinion right but i think that you know the modern consoles right yep they're more like pcs now with like all the updates that you have to do and you know all that stuff oh yeah it's literally been said the hardware that's inside the xbox uh, one series x is literally a pc yeah. they've got a uh, gtx graphics card i think along with a solid state drive so i mean like i literally prefer to just plug and play <laughs> you well, do like you know the original playstation and uh, I mean, Nintendo you do 64. that with the Xbox. You can. You just turn it on, get your game. Yeah, but that, that's the thing. Like, whenever you get a new game for Xbox, you still have to like do updates and stuff and install it. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. You mean actually have the data in the cartridge yeah. or disc or yeah, right? Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. To be honest, I don't know where that came from. To be fair, it's just like you know when you get a new game, you just want to turn it on and play it, right? Whereas nowadays you can't do that. Like you've got to wait for, you know, everything to install and stuff. Yeah, um, I'm thinking it has something to do with like the DMCA, you know, and copyright and stuff, and people cracking the games maybe. So you have to install it to verify it. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, is that good, Roly? I mean, you're more of an expert at the pools and stuff. What's that? Sounds good. <laughs> uh, four but... elemental earths, three solid stones in one pool, plus 30 silver in greys and one G in green. That's pretty decent, dude. Where did you say that you're farming again, Danish? If you said actually, sorry, I forgot. Mine's like a sieve, mate. <clears throat> ah, the Badlands, nice. To be fair, I've never actually really explored or quested in that zone or anything. Except for obviously the uh, the video that I did with those elite drakes. Well, that's about it. Do you know anything about that zone, Russell? Um, other than the bit around the dark portal, not really. I know you've got the mage tower thing for the alliance. No, 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 no. The Badlands, not the Blasted Lands. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of the Blasted Lands. Um, you know what? No. I mean, I did go there, roughly. It's just mainly animals, vultures, and sand. I did go there briefly in Vanilla WoW, but it's been such a while now that it's kind of lost on me. <clears throat> So, yeah, I don't know. It literally, as I say, it, it's kind of like a play on a Wild West, so you get the tumbleweed sort of environment. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's not really much there. It's just elementals. Yes, there are air elementals there. <clears throat> What's the current price of those herbs? Is it any good? I'm going to clear up now, mate. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> well, I say that, but we'll see. Fire bloom, fifty silver, 
each. Uh, gold thorn, 30 silver. Wild steed, 30 silver to one gold. 20 silver for a solid stone. And uh, 3 to 4 gold for uh, elemental earth. It's not bad to be fair for saying it's low level uh, enemies that drop them actually. <clears throat> not bad indeed. You know what I don't like? What's you that? can't queue up units like you can in Command and Conquer for when they die so that they make more. You have to wait until they die out and then. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so if it were up to me, I'd have another 30 units waiting in case mine got destroyed. Because that's where having a lot of resources would come in, I'd assume. Potentially. That's actually not a bad outdoor gold farm, the Danish. Are they fairly close together, or are they like really scattered? God, you can't destroy it, dude. <laughs> What's up? You're getting destroyed, I think. Need more resources. Why can't I clip my bloody base? Oh. Yeah. Are you west or south? Russell. Oh, uh, <coughs> why? Just wondering which one to take out first. I was about to say, you want to go straight for the jugular. <laughs> no, just, I might just uh, play around with my, f with my food for a bit first. <laughs> uh, sadistic, what's it? But fine, I'm <laughs> south. You're, you're south? Okay. Yeah. The one that you're kind of nuking right now. It's not me that's nuking it. Is it not? No. Oh wow, bloody hell. Thing is, I even had good units, or at least I think I did. Oh, clearly not good enough. But I've not got enough <clears throat> uh, unit cap now to make anything decent. Ah, <sighs> frick's sake. I definitely Probably 110 with Herbin. Dude, that's decent, man. That's decent. Pull 10 plus adds uh, on the mage at the time. It's not bad, mate. That's not bad. There's around four locations with 10 plus. Ah, right. Yeah, the nature resistant stuff. So, I mean, I imagine if you hold on to them for like a couple of weeks, they'll obviously go up in price. You know when we get more closer to uh, AQ. Which is actually brings me to a point actually. So you know the uh, the living essences. 
I looked at my uh, bank character who's got about, you know, just over a stack of them saved up. And they was one gold a few weeks ago, now they're worth like three gold each. <laughs> I just got done by the AI. Oh, Jeez. that was unfortunate. <laughs> I wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I definitely need to practice on skirmish a lot more. Understand. Definitely. Like I say, mate, honestly, it's exactly the same tactics as your little uh, red alert thing. <laughs> With the prison tanks. Yeah, like literally, you uh, you build a couple of grand units, you get the bases, you build the resources, and then you start pumping out either the tanks or the air units. That's it. That's all there is to it. Yeah, a lot easier said than done, apparently. At wow. least according to uh, what I've been trying to do. Yeah, no. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be winning at least one game. Although, then again, you've probably practiced this for a while as well. well I used to play it. this all day, every day when it came out yeah. back in the day. So, yeah, I, I know. Me with my red alert, where <laughs> I know every unit inside and out. So, even if I did get a remote understanding of the unit, you'd know exactly how to counter it. <laughs> Straight yeah. away. Yeah. 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 Uh. <clears throat> Pick a number from one to six. Uh, five. Okay. Can you see that on the, uh, the stream, by the way? So one, uh, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fair enough, yep. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, hang on a second. <laughs> That's number five, dude. <laughs> hey, you know what? We we could do uh, the other way around. <laughs> well, I was going to say you were that guy last time, anyway. No, this is your ally. This is a legendary AI as well. Ah. Uh -huh. On your team, I've got the heroic guy. Um. To be fair, I think they're both about the same anyway. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Well, I'm gonna minimise the stream because obviously. <laughs> Game and all that. Game integrity. <clears throat> Although, as you say, I could probably, you know, view the stream and you'd still beat me. Yeah, like, like I said earlier, it didn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, flipping out, <coughs> Danish, you got 270 of them saved up. How much is that? Let's, let's get the calculator out. So you said they were worth, like, what, three gold each, right? What's that? Uh, 270 times three. So that's nearly a thousand gold. If they were three gold each. That's a <laughs> lot of money, dude. Are you ready, Russell? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, he's probably stockpiling them. Definitely, man. Best way to go. Right, is this deathmatch again? Yep. Right. See what we can do. Pump out those bloody... Um, whatever you want, the vehicles. Or the air units. Mm-hmm. So are the purple lotuses as well as the fire blooms also used for the uh, the nature resistant stuff as well? 
I assume so, right? Okay. Wait, the MP5 uh, potion? Which one's that, dude? So which uh, leader did you select? The enemy now controls if I uh, don't, 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 don't tell me. Oh. Turret complete. Really need a PP, man. Uh, do you want me to pause? No, 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 it's fine. We can't really pause this anyway, can we? Well, well, can if, if it was just me and you, then yeah, fair enough. But fair you know, enough. we've uh, we've got the AI as well, so they won't stop. Right. Well, after this game, you can go to the toilet, I guess. Quick uh, AFK break, maybe. Yeah. You know, what I might do as well, Russell. What's that? I might start a uh, main in a different character. Oh, wow. Ooh. So you're no longer going to be Roly the Holy Paladin? Yeah. <laughs> Could be uh, Roly the uh, Protection Warrior. <laughs> Ooh. Roly the Frost Mage. <laughs> you never know. Brilliant Mana Oil. That's the MP5 one, right? Now, does that stack with other stuff as well? Such as the spell power thing. <clears throat> I presume it does, right? MP5 and plus 20 healing on weapon, I believe. That's a decent buff to have, dude.
Yeah. But it still helps out quite a lot. This game's over, dude. <laughs> Already? Yeah. Nice little save there, I reckon. <laughs> <clears throat> That's your ally as well, mate. What? That was me. What? You said you're Professor Anders. I am. Oh, you mean that laser thing in the sky? <coughs> Excuse me. No, no, no. I mean that your ally is attacking my base. Oh. Fair enough. getting quite intense. <laughs> That's fine, you, you dropped that so you couldn't kill my uh, air units fast enough. Maybe I'm just making a tactical retreat, you never know. I doubt it. See, this is where you snowball me, because even if I do get the units to fight back, you probably 
got a bigger unit cap than I have anyway. Yeah, it, it would make sense. I've got more bases. And of course, I'm going to struggle to take back those bases because you've now got the overwhelming force to destroy any units that yeah. I built to take you down. So it's a race to the <laughs> the bases on this, mate. Yep. Although I may, may, may just have an idea. Our ally reports that he is attacking the enemy. We shall see though. Whether that idea even remotely pays off. Nah. <laughs> it's over for you, mate. <laughs> Sorry. Because <laughs> I mean, I can still continue making those planes, and I still am, but it just isn't going to be enough. <sighs> I thought if I could get your planes out in one fell swoop with the uh, cryogen thing, the cryo bomb. Somebody I could dropped then... the disruption thing though, so you couldn't drop it. I did. No, no, no. You see this? This one? The yellow one. I'm not watching the stream. Or a different colour for you, but the base you just destroyed. No, no, no. The, the thing that I'm massing over. Look at the stream. Oh, yeah. Oh, um... If, oh, you, yeah, if that... you drop that, like I can't do any hero abilities. Oh, I know what the uh, disruption beacon is. I dropped one earlier. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, someone dropped it like right here, so you couldn't drop your thing. All right. Although I did my cryo bomb near yours, I got some of my own units though as well. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Although, I thought it was a worthy sacrifice. <laughs> Not really, no. My thinking was, if I got the cryo bomb on your planes, I could then take over your base, reduce the cap, and maybe pull it back. But you're right, I think at this point I'm a bit screwed. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. Base 
I mean, this is my cap compared to yours. So, yeah, it just... <sighs> the unit cap is too strong, man. I bet you've got like plus 50 or something. 45. Yeah, fair enough. Not too bad then. I've got 35, but those extra 10 units make all the difference. Definitely. Ah! You got him. <laughs> you got him before I could move him. Wow, you moved quite a lot of them, to be fair. <laughs> I was genuinely hoping to get all of them, so anything less than all of them is a bit of a failure. <laughs> Maybe if there were two left standing, but nah, you've got a good few amount. And yeah, I've now got none left. So, GG's. Thank you. Not over yet, though. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it is. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Yeah, when you snowball all of that, yeah, because you're just bringing in reinforcements now. Just turn the music up, man. It's a little bit low. Oh, and there goes that base. Yep, you've pretty much done the uh, pincer attack, pincer move. We're attacking all my bases at once. GG's. I actually think I did alright there as far as unit height battles were concerned. I had the right thing going. As in I got my units out quick enough, I just didn't take over the bases quick enough to get the cap higher. At least I think I'll let you be the judge of that because you're the expert for this game. Say that again, mate. I said at least I think that's the case. Uh, but I'll let you be the judge of that considering you're the expert for this game. What? <laughs> in enough faces? Uh, as in with my strategy, I think I got the unit type right and I got yes. my units pretty yeah, yeah. good. I just didn't capture enough faces yeah. for it to... That's basically it. <laughs> yeah. Since we're on a death match, you could literally get like three, three hawks or like two tanks and you'd be able to take out a base. As yeah. in an AI base, not like a player base. Yeah, I do, I always uh, build water hogs, extra water hogs, and I was waiting until I had about four water hogs. Maybe that was my mistake. Maybe. Because that still takes time. Maybe I should have gone with two water hogs, or as you say, two planes, maybe. Sounds good. We'll see. We'll see. Right, uh, let you go to the toilet. Put your B-Rat back thing on and mute your mic. Um, you need to actually, mate, I was going to think about calling it, to be fair. Yeah? Yeah, man. We've been at it for like an hour and a half. Uh, fair enough. Uh, did we answer all of the Danish questions? We did. Okie dokie. Right, well, I'll say goodbye to the Danish and the rest of our viewers. <laughs> it's been fun. I mean, I got my ass kicked all <laughs> every <the> time. time. <laughs> but it was fun nonetheless. Uh, I will put that poll up, figure out how to do it. And you guys can vote for what you'd like to see next. Or if it's not in the poll, you can comment down below. And uh, me and Roly will read through them and Absolutely. see what you guys are saying. Take care, the Danish. Have a good day, mate. Enjoy your afternoon, dude. Um, right, see everybody, this is Halo Wars Definitive Edition on the PC on Steam, as you can see. Hopefully today you've enjoyed today's video, I know it's been slightly different. 
you know if you've not already go ahead and subscribe as you can see we've got a, uh, a goal of reaching 2,000 subscribers here on YouTube um, if you've enjoyed today's video obviously give it a thumbs up I know a lot of people have so thank you very much for that guys muchly appreciated uh, guys just a reminder um, later on tonight if you look at the scheduled posts we're doing our first ever guild MC run tonight which is going to be live streamed again by me um, so yeah guys that's on at what what time is it 6 p.m. UK time which is 7 p.m. EU server time in the game okay so if you guys are down for watching that I'll see you later on tonight but until then have a good afternoon guys take care thanks and goodbye <laughs> see you guys